by that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. He still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Alice's work had consumed the apartment, her whole life.
One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography... can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. <laughs> 